<laughs> What's wrong with Bonnie Boots and Carhartt, right? Chase Erker joins us with a quick look over the coming up in sports. And he's rocking the cowboy boots tonight. What's up, Chase? <laughs> What's up, Megan? Yes, I am rocking the cowboy boots tonight. Good evening, Alaska. Uh, coming up in sports, we head to the main site of this weekend's Special Olympic Games, where I caught up with the Special Olympics Alaska president and CEO. Also, we speak with the good folks over at Hope Community Resources and learn about their upcoming event. After that, we take a look at the newly renovated Loretta French Fields, which are the home to the Alaska Baseball League's Chugiak Eagle River Chinooks. And lastly, if you plan on betting in the upcoming Belmont, St Belmont Stakes horse race, be sure to stick around because this year's favorite just made some headlines. All right, thank you, Chase. We'll see you in a bit. And Good evening, Alaska. Let's get to sports. They built it and now they are coming. The Chinooks are about to open their first season as the Chugiak Eagle River Chinooks and will play at newly renovated Loretta French Field. Loretta French Fields have undergone several renovations this spring in order to be deemed worthy of collegiate level play. To get the type of renovations needed, Eagle River Parks and Recs, the Chinooks, American Legion, and many others needed to come together in order to make the field ready for Alaska Baseball League play. Larger press boxes, improved backstops, and improved audio equipment are just some of the renovations that made the park Alaska Baseball League ready. That park wasn't um, originally designed to, to be a you know, collegiate level field. And so that's the cooperation that's taken place. Our American Legion Alliance organization, which supports field development across the state, recognized that to get partners like uh, Eagle River Parks and Rec and the Chinooks um, will help not only our Eagle River American Legion program, but any teams that go play there. While the field is ready now for the Chinooks to play, more renovations are scheduled for later this fall. Hope, Commu Hope Community Resources will be having their 13th annual Hope Golf Classic next Thursday. The tournament raises money for the Hope Community Resources Energy, Energy Emergency excuse me, Needs Fund and the Family Matters program. The program was created to help disabled individuals and their families who are on the state of Alaska's waiting list for services. The 13th annual Hope Golf Classic will be held at Palmer Golf Course beginning at 9 a.m. on June 14th and an award banquet will be held afterward at 2 p.m. The tournament is one of the nonprofit's biggest events and they are encouraging everyone to come out, have fun, and help those in need. Hope Community Resources does a series of different fundraising events throughout the year. The golf tournament is kind of our second large one of the year. We had our walk and roll for Hope a couple just last month actually and so a lot of folks might be familiar with that event. The golf classic takes place in the summer and then we have our large auction that takes place in the fall. If you would like to join this year's event, please visit HopeAlaska.org. It is that wonderful time of year again when the Special Olympics make their way to Anchorage. This year's Special Olympics, which are held at East High School, the Arctic Gymnastics Center, and the Alaska Dome, are expected to draw over 400 athletes, coaches, and volunteers from all over Alaska. Athletes attending this year's games have trained for several months to qualify and by participating in local community summer games. East High School will host the majority of the events like basketball, aquatics, and powerlifting. The gymnastics portion will be held at the Arctic Gymnastics Center, and the track and field events will be held at the Alaska Dome. This is about really uniting people, and it's about, it's about sports, but it's also about um, acceptance and inclusion and unity. And for 32 years, and this second weekend in June, there is no other place that I would be than with a Special Olympics Alaska event. The Special Olympics kick off tonight with its opening ceremonies loaded at East, excuse me, located at East High School. Now let's take a look at the national scoreboards. Uh, my Braves pulling it off in 10. Wow, Jason Hayward getting back on it. And Steven Strasburg for the Nationals is just, he's unreal right now. He is unbeatable. He's on fire. He's on fire. Also, really quick, we did tease it, but uh, I'll have another not in the Belmont States this year. All right. Thanks, Chase. Still ahead on your Alaska link, it's everything you ever wanted when it comes to your pet under one roof. We'll take you out to preview this weekend's Pet Expo at the Sullivan Arena.